This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 380 <sighs> for Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Good morning. <laughs> so, how do pirates say the number two in Roman numerals? Aye, aye. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Uh, This week, Twisby Eco Smoke Rose Gold. I love rose gold. So, uh, pre-sales start on, started on Monday, and uh, we are allowed to start shipping them on Friday, so we do have uh, some Smoke Rose Gold up on the website. Great. Um, Good looking pen. The smoke and the rose gold, I think really, you know, the the white with rose gold is not for me, but the smoke with rose gold kind of, I think, really... Really makes that rose gold pop. Cool. Eco Smoke Rose Gold uh, are uh, actually the pens. Pens arrived, and we're shipping them out on Friday. All right. Next up. Going, going, gone. Going, just like going, gone. Our relationship. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, see, this gap here is getting a little bit bigger. Uh, so there are three sailors that are discontinued, and uh, they're going away. And as a promotion. We are offering a free bottle of Ink Studio, matching Ink Studio with the pens. So we have uh, the three pens are the Anchor Gray. Yep. Available the 1911 Standard and the 1911 Large. Okay. And what ink do you get with that? You get one, two, three. Get ink out. Ink Studio, one, two, three. This is uh, rhodium trim on this. 14 okay. or 21 karat, of course, on the Large. Uh, and pretty much available at any nib size that you're looking for. Extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium, broad, zoom, or music. Um, actually available on all of these. Great. So Anchor Gray. Okay. Graphite Lighthouse. Yep. Pro um, Gear. Pro Gear Slim and full size Pro Gear. I really like the Pro Gear Slims personally. Um, I thought it was really interesting when they came out with the clear ends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like them. Um, so many of the Japanese only pens for certain little shops, you know, the runs of 10 or 20 or whatever, um, often had that. And so when they came out with this, I really, really liked it. Um, I'm a little sad to see this go. It's definitely a little more subdued. Oh, uh, there's still a chance. I think we got a couple left. Well, I know. Could be mine. And what ink do you get with this one? With this one, you get Ink Studio 223. So next up on the list from 123. Cool. Yep. This is uh, a little, little darker. A little darker gray. All right. Uh, and then. Last but not least. A little pop of color for you. The Key Lime. This is not a shy pen. It's not a shy pen. No. Yeah. Um, it's kind of almost has that little me- metallic uh, finish sheen. to it. Yeah. Little sheen. Um, 1911 large and 1911 standard. Again, rhodium trim. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, all three of these have the same single tone rhodium nib. Um, all seven nib sizes. In this one, you get with a very nice Ink Studio 260. That's cool. So it's a lovely, lovely key lime green. So yeah, if you're interested in any of those three pens, actually six, they're available in two sizes right. um, you need to jump on it because there are like literally we can't order anymore lammy tipo um tipo that's this guy yes all right so these you know i like these more than i thought i would um we they come in both uh plastic and metal we've opted to only get the metal and i will confess that um Dave and Brian were making fun of me when I was trying to figure out how they work. Well, there's there's one that has a little different uh, clip than the rest. Oh, and I picked that one up? Well, as a matter of fact, you did. <laughs> <laughs> as a matter of fact, you did. Of course I um, did. Because it, it, most of the, 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 the new ones seem to have this clip that kind of folds off the front. Oh, yeah. Whereas on the, on which one do you have there? Have That's coffee. The, the coffee. I the, need the coffee. The clip is, is a little bit different. <laughs> We got the, which one is this? I can't see. That's the, is that the champagne? That is, is that? the uh, pearl. Pearl. I, I could call everything champagne these days. Something I need to know? No, I don't know. All right. You got so, pearl. No, nope, put that down. So we have the pearl. We have the aluminum silver. <laughs> We're going to hide that. Okay. The coffee, which apparently is technical. It's not technical. Uh, tourmaline. I love that color. That yes. one's great. Yes. Could be yours. It's very Caribbean. Very Yes. Very bright and tropical. And then they brought back two colors from a couple years ago. The petrol 
and the copper orange. These have a nice it's weight. Nice. You know, it's, it's, it's nice. I, I, I do like the, the, the ease of clicking it in there and then you can you flip down. Yeah, it took me a minute. Um, you press it and it To get the refill to, to go back in. Yeah. Uh, which also operates as a, you know, if you're going to put it in your pocket. But it's nice because then you can't put it in your pocket and clip it. Yeah, yeah. It's got that Schaefer reminder clip thing going. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so nice, nice. For inexpensive. What are they? Twelve bucks. Twelve eighty. Yeah. Yeah. So these okay. are just a nice, a nice size, and I like that the nose cone has a little bit of ribbing. It's plastic. Yes, I it's, hate. It's cute. It's a fun little throw in your, but it doesn't look. It doesn't look cheap. It looks. Oh, well, it's metal. Well, it's you know, it, it 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 doesn't look like the cheap ballpoint you steal from the hotel or whatever. It's. Uh... So Lammy is bringing back. Um, there are two original safari colors. And I know some people are a little honked off about this. Mm. Only the people that have the originals. So the Savannah Green and the Terracotta. These were the mm -hmm. first colors in the Safari series that Lammy made. And they came in this really <laughs> cool treasure box. Um, and then once they were gone and years later people decided they want them, want them, I know a lot of people have paid a lot of money for these. And now Lammy is bringing these back, and they are the normal 30 they're, bucks. <clears throat> yeah, they're... Yes, there um, are some very, very minor changes, um, because I asked, is this mm -hmm. the exact same thing? Um, because of updates in the manufacturing process, but uh, black clip, black jewel. It's, a, it's like a matte finish. Yep. It's almost like a sandblasted. Black nib. Nice colors. It's good. Yeah, they're, they're great colors. Um, nice colors. Yeah. You know, I've been sort of ragging on Lammy a little bit for reusing um, some of their colors. Uh, but this is really, this I, is a nice, it's really kind of a pumpkin color. Yeah, yeah. Cute. They're, they're, they're good colors. They're solid colors. Yep. Um, and the fact that they have a little historical significance yes. doesn't, doesn't hurt. Um, so we have the fountain. Th they'll be available in pot and pen, roller ball. And ballpoint. Yes. <clears throat> I love the ballpoint. I just did love. These are so darn cute. We've been talking about these Midori bookmarker clips for a couple weeks. Um, I think we just started sort of last week. No, I thought it was two weeks no, because anyway. we were waiting and then they didn't come in. So. Uh, now we have them. Now yeah. we have them and these are just oh. damn cute. Uh, so they're very thin. I knew that they were thin, but they one, are. One millimeter. Very, very thin. Um, we did just try it on, um, is it a, it's a Zequins. A Zequins notebook. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I love that they're, it's, they're, they're, they're hyper flexible. I mean, yes. they're, they're, well, don't bend it. <laughs> this one's mine. <laughs> I know. Um, so they're, they're, uh, cutouts, you, they're stencils. Yeah. So I, I kept one cause I just fell in love. And so I have the one with the coffee mug. I think I think you have to be careful putting this on, on paper. There, there's going to be a, a, a little bit of a curve. learning curve. Yeah, there is a there is a little lip on the back end here, and then I think if you put it on straight and push down, because um, we tried it, it's it, it took a little bit. The first time I kind of wrinkled the paper because I wasn't doing it right, but um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're cute. The cats. <clears throat> Look at this. There's, there's a cat in the, in a building. I know. Brian got the cats. I got the uh, the lifestyle with the coffee mug the book, the utensils, and the suitcase. Yeah. And then the weather. The weather, so you can write down what the weather was like. But I love that they're, they're little stencils. Yeah. And on the packaging, you can see uh, what this, the primary stencil looks like. Yeah, and these but. are what, like flowers? Yes. <clears throat> flowers on that one. Mm -hmm. Really cute. Adorable. Really, really adorable. Absolutely I don't know adorable. what I'm gonna use them for, but if you put a cat on it, I'm pretty much. Let's talk writing mats. All right. Uh, so we now have the A5 in our um, writing mats the that are available. Yep. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, these are definitely cool. flexible. I like them. Um, if I use my Hobonichi, I want one of those. I love it when our staff comes in and says, all right, darn it, I have to have one. Uh, these are great. Put them under a sheet of your um, your planner, your um, Tomoe loose sheets, your notebook, whatever, especially if you tend to press hard. Yeah. This will protect the sheets underneath. Um, but I I'm, love I'm, tell, I'm telling you, you get the A4 and then you can cut it up and you can have strips. You could. I, I would have 
if it were me, if I wrote a lot, I would I would take one of those and I would cut off a, a piece that's about, you know, maybe five to, by three or something. To and fit then, in your teacher? Well, and then, then I would have it for a, um, to, to cover my hand. Mm -hmm. So when I'm writing, you know, because sometimes you write and then when you get to the bottom of the page, all of a sudden your right. pen, pen can start skipping because right. it's got the oils from your hand on the page. That's what I would These do. are great. <clears throat> these are great. So we do finally have these in the A5 size. So they come in... A4, A5, and B5. Uh, coming down the road, uh, Pilot is coming out with a new color in the Custom 74. Uh, they are discontinuing the yes. orange and the violets. I'm a little sad on the orange. I have do you have orange. one? I have an orange. I okay. do have an orange. Do I have one? Uh, you have a blue or something. I thought. I thought you had the blue. No. All right. Well, no. anyway. Orange was always my color. So orange and violet are going away. Okay, orange and violet are going away. If you want one of those, grab it now before they are gone. But uh, to replace one of those, a new forest green is coming out. Yep. Really it's pretty, nice, nice kind color. of a yep. smoky green. It's, mm -hmm. It it's, goes well with the, with the smoke caps yes. in the section, so it does have the same. Uh, it's still transparent, just like the rest of them. It's got the smoke caps yes. and the section. Uh, yeah. Melbourne, pretty color. Pretty yeah, color. Nice. I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm happy to see Pilot mix something up. You know, Pilot is such a slow, with the exception of Machia. Yes. For the most part, there's such it's a, a slow, slow ship to turn. Yes, it, 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 we've had the same good, colors. Right? <laughs> uh, we had we had the same colors in the '74, pretty much, with the exception of the the Merlot and the teal. And the teal since we started. Yes. So um, it's nice to see them making some changes. Yeah, let's, let's move um, some colors in there. You know, right. we got some colored falcons this year, but Pilot seems to be very slow, and this uh, is going to be a nice addition. Uh, okay, so this week, Friday, is uh, Vintage Japanese Week 3. The whole week? It's already Wednesday. Friday. Fr <laughs> Friday's a week? <laughs> On Friday. On Friday, we are having Vintage Japanese Day, number three. Um, so, I have comprised 34 of the finest selections, and yes, one of them is American. Um, I've, got, I've got some really cool pens. I'm just going to briefly run through them. That's okay. So, we have yeah, a, You're only going to do a couple, then you do the whole thing. Go ahead. We have, we have an assortment of the usual <clears throat> Platinum, Pilot, and Sailor pocket pens, long shorts, whatever you want to call them, you know, your standard black elites. Um, Cool sailor in, in a champagne. Does it have a? We've got uh, this platinum in a sheepskin. That's cool. So platinum made a series of pens in in a sheepskin, and then they painted so them. Cool. Um, and so this one has got uh, got a flower on it. I'm not up on my botany, but um, it's, it's a, a flower. <clears throat> it's a neat. And then it has a white section Look at that. with a cool gold inlay. It's got a transparent feed. That's so cool. Um, 18 karat nib. So really, really a pretty pretty neat pen. This is a Platinum Arabesque, and it's a full-size pen. It has this fantastic Arabesque pattern on the barrel, and a uh, white section, solid you're, gold You're going to keep that? I was thinking about it. Uh, did you want it? You weren't going to keep it for me? I, I offered it to you. I know. <laughs> you turned it down. It's already, it's already in <laughs> the works. It's fine. It's fine. Somebody no, it's it. really it's pretty. It's super, super cool, and it's, it's tactile, too, so it's yeah. not just... A pattern, it's a raised pattern just, on the barrel. Just enough that you can feel it. Not enough that it's going to dig into your fingers. No, um, and, and, really and the section, of course, is smooth. So when you hold, if you hold it down here. It's really pretty. It's, it is a pretty pattern. This is neat. It is not, not a terribly expensive pen. It is not one of the big threes. You know what this reminds me of? is like cat's eye marbles okay. from like the 70s. That was before my time. Uh, this is not a big three. It's not a platinum. It's not a, a pilot. It's not See a sailor. What I have to deal with. Uh, it is a Ceylon. S e i l o n. L o n. Um, it has a cool green pattern on it. <laughs> it's hard to describe that pattern, really. It's sort of like a mar uh, like a cat's eye marble. Okay. It's it's definitely got depth and light to and when it. When you rotate it, yeah. it just it goes it's from dark to dark light. Dark to light. Really um, cool. That's gold plated cap. Funky little nib. 14 karat um, really? thumbnail nib. Yep, 14 karat That's nib. That's cool. And it is an aerometric filler. So. I can take it apart. It's not cartridge converter. <laughs> not break it's, it. Yeah. Look at that. So, new sack installed. It's Great. just a cute little pen. Yep. It's not going to be terribly expensive, but a 14 karat nib. Nice size. It's yeah. definitely not as girthy as that stainless steel. No. 
Definitely no. a, a daintier pen. Yeah, but full size, mm -hmm. uh, friction fit cap. It looks good. Um, cool. It's just a neat, unusual, and I like how this, this this lighter portion of the green lines up with the nib. Mm -hmm. It's just it, very interesting. It rotates really cool. So, vintage Japanese week uh, day, whatever. This is the third week we're doing it. Um, so that'll be on Friday morning, um, and we do, we launch it about like it was, like last time, nine thirty ish. Yep. Uh, 9, 30, 10, somewhere between that 9 and 10. It's kind of fun range. to watch. Hey, Coraimo, how you doing? <laughs> I'm it's good. February 3rd. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get a letter from you, so I assumed the easy ones would go first. No? So last year I did really well. Really, really well. Here we go again. She did really well last, last year. I haven't done any this year. There, I admitted it. You, you know, know what? what I was gonna I'm going to write three today, and you're not getting any of them. You, you know what I was going to do? And, and I was really intended to do this. It was so busy in the store yesterday. I was going to write you a okay. letter and then give it to you on the podcast. I never got that far. That, <laughs> that, that, that was going to eliminate yesterday the whole stamp. Yesterday was busy, The yeah. whole stamp and envelope thing. Yeah. I was just going to fold you a letter. And, and give it to you on the podcast, but I'm doing great <laughs> at Incorimo. I'm only three days behind. So, <laughs> yeah. all right. Um, so, Incorimo, <laughs> International Correspondence Writing Month, the entire month of February. Um, if you are like us and haven't really quite started yet, just write a note, uh, a postcard, a letter. Um, I have an excuse to write to a lot of my family right great. now. So, you do. I do. Um, and uh, just use your, pens. use your pens and let somebody know, especially these days, let somebody know you're thinking of them. That really may make a difference um, to them and, and you may not know that you really made their day. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, <laughs> tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. And follow the blog for news, ink reviews, um, store updates, and uh, whatever else we post. Check us out on social media at Anderson Pens and uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time.